I am currently trying to watch every single nominee for the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film and for the third year that this was a category, Jolly Little Elves is one of the nominees. This is in 1934 and honestly, part of me feels like this should have won. The other two nominees were The Tortoise and the Hare by Walt Disney, um, obviously a Disney production, and Holiday Land, directed by Charles Mintz, which is a Screen Gems short. This one, directed by Walter Lance, obviously is a Universal short film, and for me, it's my favourite of the three. I understand why the Silly Symphony Tortoise and the Hare won, but I thoroughly enjoyed this one. Jolly Little Elves is very much based on the Elves and the Shoemaker, which is one of my... Well, it's not one of my favourite fables, but it was a book that I had as a child that I really loved. I think it was maybe a la ladybird book that I had, and I loved it. And this one has <laughs> one of the best um, music in it. Uh, the music is by James Daytree, Walter Lance, and Victor McLeod. And there's a line in it that's talking about dunking donuts all day long, and then come on and dunk, dunk, dunk. And if you listen to it with the actual music and not my butchered attempt to portray it, I think you'll find it very addictive. And I loved it. And that's that's one that's kind of the opening scene where the elf visits the shoemaker and his wife. That you can see they're very poor. They haven't got a lot of money, but the elf is hungry, and together they split a donut. I found it very odd that the elf was given half of a full donut, and the shoemaker and his wife were each given like a quarter of a donut. But the point is. Even though they had nothing, they showed this little elf some compassion. And the elves repay that compassion by working through the night to make lots of shoes for the shoemaker so that he can sell them and say thank you for giving them half of a donut while giving that one elf half of a donut. In return, here are some shoes that you can put in your shop to sell. And I thought that that was absolutely lovely. And... It's such a beautiful, beautiful message, and the elves are adorable. I think the animation style is very cute. I will say the animation style is not quite as smooth as, well, the tortoise and the hare, um, which I think, obviously, being the winner, it did very well for itself. I can see the animation here isn't quite as striking or as smooth or as um, synchronised, but it's still an absolute delight to watch. And I love the animation of the donut. <laughs> I've never seen a donut being animated in the 1930s to the best of my knowledge and for my first look at that I'm pretty happy with it. Honestly I absolutely adore it. It's a beautiful retelling of a story that I love with an absolutely fantastic message and an incredible soundtrack to go with it. If you haven't seen it check it out. Um, you know Walter Lance is a, is a uh, it was actually produced by Walter Lance directed by Manuel um, Moreno and Bill Nolan. Bill Nolan, I believe, did quite a bit of work for Disney, actually, so that's quite interesting. Thoroughly enjoyed it. For me, Jolly Little Elves should have won. I can see why the tortoise and the hare did, but this will very quickly gain a special place in my heart. I think it's one that I will like for a very long time.